David Kahn here with another question from the Question Bank in topic 8.1. We're looking at uh, solar power, solar heaters, and solar cells. We want to describe in terms of energy transformations the difference between uh, a photovoltaic cell and an active heater. Uh, so these seem like the same thing at first. These are, are the things that you put on your roof to collect energy from the sun, but they're actually different. Photovoltaic cells collect energy from the sun and convert them directly into electricity. At the same time, active solar heaters collect energy from the sun and convert it into heat for heating water. So the idea here is that uh, you put both on your roof and collect energy from the sun. One makes electricity for you to use in your appliances in your house. The other just makes hot water. Never goes through electricity, just sunlight makes things hot, makes the water hot. We have a photovoltaic cell uh, with a given area, and it's situated on the roof of the house. Uh, the cell has an efficiency of 8%, which is pretty poor nowadays. Um, but I guess when the time was written, that might have been current. At the time when the power of the solar radiation incident on the photovoltaic cell is at a maximum, the cell delivers a power of 47 milliwatts. Uh, well, we're talking about quite a small cell with poor efficiency, so yeah, not a lot of power. Um, deduce that the maximum value of the power of the solar radiation incident on the cell is 0.9 kilowatts per square meter. So that's power per unit area. What's the power per unit area incident on the cell? So we need to know how much power is landing on the cell. We're going to get that from the power that the cell is producing. Uh, so the power out is equal to the power in times the efficiency. What we want is the power in, so that's the power out divided by the efficiency, 0.08. Uh, the power reaching the cell, the power per unit area, so that's the, the uh, intensity, would then be that power out divided by 0 0.08 per unit area, 6.5 times 10 to the negative 4 per square meter. Uh, the output power is 47 milliwatts. We'll divide that by 0 0.08 and divide that by 6.5 times 10 to the negative 4 and arrive at uh, 904 watts per square meter, which is about the same as, as 0.9 kilowatts per square meter. Lastly, we want to state one reason why the power of solar radiation at any particular region does not have a constant value. Um, well, there's a couple of different reasons, but the short answer is that night happens. Uh, throughout the day, the intensity of the light changes, and eventually it, it reaches almost zero at night. Um, so the availability of solar radiation varies a lot throughout the day uh, everywhere on Earth. Even as the sun moves through the sky and, and reaches lower angles of elevation, we can expect the amount of solar ra radiation to drop. So uh, one answer would just be uh, at night, the available energy drops significantly. You could also talk about how weather and cloud patterns would change the amount of energy available. If the sky gets very cloudy, you can expect the uh, amount of solar radiation to drop by about 90%. Um, so if you have a series of cloudy days, that would be a problem for your hot water.